channel Math and Method Academy. In this video, we are going to learn the method of how to find the nth term of a cubic sequence. Uh, the given sequence, the given cubic sequence in this question is thirteen. 51, 143, 313, and 585. Let us find the differences of the sequence. We can see that these differences are not the same. Let's see what are those differences. We subtract 13 from 51 and we get 38. Then we subtract 51 from 143 and we get 92. Then we subtract 143 from 313 and we get 170. And subtracting 313 from 585 we get 272. We can see that these differences are not the same. So we will repeat the same step and find the differences again. So we go ahead and we subtract 38 from 92. The answer is 54. Then we subtract 92 from 170. The answer is 78. Then we subtract 170 from 272 and the answer is 102. Again, the differences are not the same. And therefore, we will go for the same step one more time. So, let us subtract 54 from 78. We are getting 24. And by subtracting 78 from 102, we get 24. This time, the differences are same. That is 24. So, we divide it by 6 and write it with n cube. That is. Four n cube, and we will write terms of this sequence as well by putting one, two, three, four, and five in place of n. Let's see what we get in this case. The first number of the sequence is one raised to power three, which will be one into four, so it will come out to be four. And when we put 2, 2 raised to power 3 is 8, 8 into 4, 32. Similarly, we will put 3, 4 and 5 and we get 1, 0, 8, 2, 5, 6 and 500. We call this series as series number 1. Now we subtract this series which is series number 1 from the original series, the actual series which is given in the question. So that series is 13, 51, 143, 313 and 585. So we are subtracting 13 minus 4 is 9, 51 minus 32 is 19, 143 minus 108 is 35. 313 minus 256 is 57. 585 minus 500 is 85. Since the differences of the resultant series are not the same, so we will go one step further and calculate these again. So 9 minus 19 will be equal to 10. 19 minus 35 will be equal to 16. 35 minus 57 will be equal to 22. And the last one which is 85 minus 57 is 28. We can see that the differences are not the same even now. So we find these one more time. By finding it one more time we see that 10, uh, 16 minus 10 is 6. 22 minus 16 is again 6. 
and 22 when we subtract it from 28 it is 6 this time the differences are the same which is 6 we divide 6 by 2 and multiply the result by n square that is Three n square so we will write the series of this uh, term by replacing n with 1 2 3 4 and 5 so we are getting when we put 1 it is 3 when we put 2 it is 12 for 3 it is 27 for 4 it is 48 and for 5 it is 75 we call this series as series number 2 and we subtract it from the original series which is 13 39 116 265 and 510 sorry 585 Sorry, I have mentioned all of them wrong. This is not the series. The series is thirteen, fifty-one, hundred and forty-three, three one three, and five eighty-five. Okay. So now we subtract series number 2 from the original series. The result is 10, 39, 116, 265 and 510. <clears throat> the resultant series has different numbers therefore we take one step further and find the differences again so by doing that we are getting 39 minus 10 29 116 minus 39 is 77 265 minus 116 is 149 and 510 minus 265 is equal to 245 It is evident that we have to find the differences one more time. So let's go for it. 27 minus 29 is 48. 149 minus 77 is 72. 245 minus 149 is 96. Still the differences are not the same. So we have to repeat the step one more time. 72 minus 48 is 24 and 96 minus 72 is equal to 24 now all the numbers of the series are same and that number is 24 we divided by 24 and then multiply it by n that is we will be getting n So when we write the series with the help of this uh, term n, we get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We are replacing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 into n and we are getting the series 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And this is the, this is, we call the series as series number 3. Now we add series 1, 2 and 3 and subtract the sum of these from the original series. So when we may, uh, calculate the sum we get 8, 46, 53, 308 and 580. This is actually sum of series 1, 2, 
and 3. And under this, we will be writing the original serial which is 13, 51, 143, 313, and 585. Now we subtract some of the series 1, 2 and 3 from the original series we are getting 5, 5, 5, 5 and 5. So all the numbers in the series are same that is 5. Therefore our nth term in this case will be or you can say for this question is 4n cube plus 3n square plus n plus 5 which is the answer of this question So the, that's all for now. Until the next time, please take care and bye.